Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and tonight I'm back with a very cool video, one that I haven't done also ever and I've used, this is probably the first glitch I ever did before I ever did a money glitch. It was all about clothing glitches. I'm going to show you how to get all the different color joggers in the game uh, except for the blue and white ones which apparently you can only get during Christmas time with a certain component using the DM glitch. But every other color jogger in the game that's possible I will show you how to get including the new method to obtain the red joggers guys. I know a lot of people have been looking for the red joggers. I have the new method on how to get it. It's super simple. Uh, not as quick as the other method but it's still very simple. Uh, for all of these you are going to need at least one friend uh, at least for the most part. But they're all super simple to do and I'll tell you what you can do on Xbox and what you can do on PlayStation as well. So as you can see right here I got pink joggers on, I can show you how to get the helmets, I'm going to show you all the jobs you need to know, alright? So here we go, first up, uh, this is Sumo right here, this is how you actually get the purple and orange, okay? If you're just looking quick to get, you can get a lot of different colors from a lot of different jobs, but I'm going to show you the most efficient ways. So say you only got one buddy, you know, and you want to get purple or orange, this is the job you go to, all right? Any one of the sumos you see there, you can start them up. Now, purple and orange are really easy to get. Shout out to my boy FaZe Sprint right here for helping me out. As you can see right here, I have purple wearing and then orange as well. You can get either one in this job. Uh, I do believe you can get more if you, you know, if you put more teams. But anyways, so once you spawn in, go to style and then go to player mood, as you can see right here. Now just hold right on the D-pad and then just spam player mood for about 20 seconds and you can time yourself with a little timer in the bottom right. That's usually how I do it, no need to count. You got that timer right there. So once we spam for 20 seconds, all of a sudden you're going to see my interaction menu disappear. The reason it's going to disappear is because I'm opening up my Xbox dashboard right there. So right now my Xbox dashboard is open, I'm on DVR so you can't see that, but on Xbox we just need to lag out. So open up your dashboard and do not touch the controller at all, let it sit there. PlayStation, you guys, after you spam, you can just suspend app by just going and opening up YouTube or something like that and suspend the app or trimming a clip. So either, either way we both have to, uh, we're lagging out by idling, there you go, you're going to get the kicked alert, all you got to do is accept it. Uh, PlayStation, you guys are suspending app after you spam, but we both have to spam on player mood guys. And with this method, player mood, this is how you get the joggers in pretty much every single one of these jobs, okay? You can use player mood, I've tested it, player mood works the best for everything. A lot of people have been having trouble because they're using illuminated clothing and things like that. No, player mood is the way to go. Just spam player mood, 20 seconds, that's all you need. So that's for a quick two player orange and uh, purple joggers, okay? That's how you get them. This is how you get the invisible ankles, guys. I know a lot of people looking for invisible ankles. This is the way to do it. Okay, so now, this method right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the black joggers. Vehicle Vendetta, you only need one friend for this, preferably one friend, and as you can see right here, when you start it up, everybody has the same pants on, they're black plan uh, pants. You have different jackets on and different colors, but the pants are all the same. These are, this is how you get the black joggers, guys. Vehicle Vendetta, okay? So, super simple one. I've used it a bunch of times. The next one we're gonna be doing is Drop Zone. Now, Drop Zone is really cool because if you guys actually want to get colored bulletproof helmets, this is the job to do it at, all right? And with this job, if you got four friends, I'd recommend doing Drop Zone because it's the easiest one to actually get all of your colors at uh, with the bulletproof helmets as well. And you can get purple, orange, green, and pink, okay? You need three players at least to pick up the pink one, and you need four players to pick up the green one, I believe. So right here, and make sure you set teams to four, uh, four teams. You're going to see it right here. I changed it in the settings. Uh, so yeah, right there, number of teams, set it to four. All right, once you've set it to four, go ahead. I was waiting here with my boy FaZe so that we can get two more people, and it turned out two more people really did join. Uh, just in a second here, here we go. Fast forward a bit and boom. All right, so as you can see right here, we all have the bulletproof helmet colors and those are all four colors that you can get and the same method that we used before, spam player mood for 20 seconds and Xbox, we have to idle out. PlayStation, once again, you guys, all you have to do is suspend application through either opening up YouTube or trimming a clip, okay? And then it'll ask you to suspend application. You guys got it easy. On Xbox, I do believe there's another method to change crew. Uh, we I used to use it. I don't know if it's been patched, but who knows? All right, I'll test it out some other time. But collection time. This is the other method that you guys can use if you guys would like to get the bulletproof helmets. All right. Well, not method. This is the other job. Okay. The reason I wanted to put this in here is just to show you guys that it is possible to get the bulletproof helmets and joggers 
in this job as well. But here's the downside. If you're playing with randoms, you guys spawn on the ground. So they can just come and kill you, Xbox, if we're trying to lag out. But in, uh, in the other one, no. All right, so here we go. Red Joggers. This is the one everybody's been waiting for. You got to join Work Dispute. Now, yeah, I said join Work Dispute. You must be the second player. I think the fourth player can also get it, but don't quote me on that. So as you can see right here, I spawn in. I was the second player. Luckily, I joined a random job through the Quick Jobs menu. And we come out here, and what you want to do is fly over to your apartment. Now, if you have a friend, go ahead and tell him to start up Work Dispute. It's the last mission that you unlock after Data Breach in the MOC uh, through that TV. It's the MOC, uh, you know, menu, uh, you know, TV jobs. So once you do that, you're in the job. You've flown over to your apartment, flow to your apartment, or fly to your apartment, take out your homing launcher, stand over the blue circle. It says you can't access the apartment, blow yourself up, just like that, okay? Once you blow yourself up, what it does, it actually glitches out the blue circle. So this is the new method. Before we used to actually have to spam on uh, auto show armor on and then we would spam on um, armor, you know, body armor, the different types. And then that would let us just once the timer ran out 15 seconds, boom, it would kick us. I got lucky here. We actually only had one uh, player death left uh, to actually, you know, get kicked from the job. So I was sprinting, man. And right away, you see that after you kill yourself in the blue circle, you can now actually enter your apartment while you're inside of this job, work dispute. We were never able to do that before, but we found out just killing yourself over the blue circle will allow you to walk into your apartment, just like you see me doing right here. So now once you've walked into your apartment, uh, I don't know if the CEO office works. I would imagine it does, but I know for sure the apartments do work. That's what I use. Go straight to your closet and go ahead and press X, PlayStation, that's square for you guys, and then go ahead and save it. I saved it over my last slot here. And I just wanted to save it real quick, change it to RD, and then I was about to quit out, but I just wanted to make sure that it was actually saved. I, still, I saw I still had some time, so I pressed X again, and I went ahead and actually saved it fully. I think I fully changed the name. No, I didn't actually. So yeah, so I saved it one more time, and then I went and quit out through my phone. I spawned back. I was wearing my normal clothes, but then I went to go check my style, uh, you know, all the different outfits that I was wearing, and I still do have the red joggers, thankfully. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to style. Heading over to outfits, going over to the left, and boom. See that? I'm wearing it outside of the job. So there you go. All right. That is the new method to get the red joggers. I know a lot of people have been looking for them. It's a, probably the rarest out of the joggers and the more newer ones that we got uh, because of the work dispute that came out with the MOC. But there you go, guys. And now, last but not least, we have the tan joggers. Tan joggers are really cool, guys, and they're super easy to get. So sign in as a CEO, go to management style, and then go over to the warlord outfit now we're at the warlord outfit those are the tan joggers we want now you can kind of do this solo you do need somebody else but it doesn't have to be somebody you're speaking to so check it out this is what i did i'm in a big public session right now i saw a few ceos in the session so i went ahead and went into my contacts and i started messaging those ceos that uh that i saw were signed in right now uh you can't see it but i'm sending you know a few of them a message and i'm basically just telling them hey can you invite me to your ceo you know question mark this and that and uh, I got a few replies. One guy was in a job. He said, I'll invite you after, yada, yada, yada. So I, you see right there, I'm just looking. And then I see somebody else is in a CEO, so I just went to go ask them. So yeah, that is the way that you can kind of do this solo. You do need somebody else, but they don't need to know why you're inviting them to their CEO. Now, the other way is to just have a friend in the session and just say, hey, you know, bro, shoot me an invite over to your CEO just to have the invite on my phone and then you can proceed to do the glitch. Just make sure that that friend is not uh, wearing the Warlord outfit as well and make sure that you aren't wearing a duffel bag previous to switching to the Warlord outfit because it will mess up the glitch. Okay, you want to be wearing normal clothes, like just nothing with a duffel bag on it. The duffel bag, you know, kind of glitches it uh, and won't let you get the outfit. I found that out yesterday. So check it out. I got Bryce here. I met him in the session. Shout out to you, Bryce Games. I met him here and he was actually kind enough to help me out. I invited him to my apartment and everything. So I said, uh, go ahead. I'm standing next to my shower. I got the right D-pad option to go into the shower. He just shot me an invite to his CEO. I'm still signed in as mine. I'm going to hit accept on that and then spam right D-pad. So I accept his CEO invite and I spam right D-pad to go in the shower. It says that I've quit my CEO. Bloody money right there. That's my CEO. I've quit that. And then now it's going to say, I'm now an associate of Bryce Squad. That's Bryce Games right there. That's his uh, CEO. So once I've been in the shower for like 10, 15 seconds, I go ahead and then I leave the shower. And when you leave the shower, 
There we go, you should still have the Warlord outfit, and from here on, you can go ahead and save it. Simple as that, guys. In 10 minutes, I just showed you how to get every single jogger in the game possible, except for the blue and white, which are just unobtainable right now until Christmas time. And uh, yeah, so once you have these joggers, or this outfit right here, you can go ahead and actually leave the CEO and save it. Simple as that, okay? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a fun time making it. Shout out to everyone who helped me. Like it by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the red button. And turn on the post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.